Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to connect your ADN payment provider to your Lago account. The goal for this is whenever Lago issues a new invoice, you make sure that this invoice is paid through ADN, which is a payment provider. Okay, so let's first connect this ADN integration inside of your Lago application. The first thing you have to fill is the API key. So let's find this into your, uh, into your agent account. And here under developers API credentials, you can create a new one. And that this has to be a web service user that has all the rights for read and write actions. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to create this credential here and I'm going to paste the API key and save all the changes. Okay. And this API key has to be pasted here under this API key field. The second monetary field you have to fill is the merchant account. And once again, very easy to find it. You can go here into your uh, agent application and this is your merchant account. You can copy paste that into your Lago account here. The, the mandatory fields are filled, and then you have two optional fields. The first one is the live prefix. This is the prefix used whenever you go for a live ADN application. So I'm currently using the staging version of ADN, but if you're using a live production account for ADN, you have to make sure that the prefix of this account is pasted here. And the second one is if your uh, Webex message from ADN to Lago are protected with the HMAC signature, you need to make sure that you paste here the HMAC signature so that LIGO can decrypt these messages. Okay. I'm going to connect that here. The application is fully connected. I can go back into settings integration and see that this is connected. The second thing you have to do here is uh, to connect uh, outgoing webhook messages from ADN to Lago, so Lago can listen automatically to updates from your uh, agent account. So here, for example, I'm going to go into the documentation and I have to find here the link that will be used to listen to these messages. So here you're going to paste, copy paste that and make sure that you also have your organization ID, your Lago organization ID. So here I'm going to get back into my agent's accounts and I'm going to go into developers webhook. Okay. And I'm going to create a new webhook, a standard one. And under server configuration, I can paste this link. And to find my organization ID, I have to go into my Lago account developers and then organization ID. I can copy paste that and copy paste this organization ID just after this link. I'm going to apply that and save, save all the changes. There you go. Now we have everything needed to uh, just create direct payment from Lago invoices to ADN. So I'm going to add a new customer here. It will be Jane Doe. I'm going to add a customer ID here. And then I'm going to select Adian as a payment provider for this customer. So you're not forced to apply Adian to all your customers, but this customer has to pay all the invoices through Adian. I'm going to select that. And here, if I have an existing user in Adian, I can paste here the ID of this uh, agent user. If this is a new user, you can decide to create automatically this customer in Adian. Okay. I'm going to create this customer. And here, Lago issues the first thing that is really important. Here, Lago issues a checkout URL, a checkout link. Basically, this link will be used to perform the checkout. So let's do that. I'm going to add here a checkout. And here, as you can see, we need an authorization payment method from Jane Doe. So this will be store the payment method for this customer. Okay. So here in ADN, you can have some test card numbers. I'm going to go for Visa, for example, and check that 
I'm going to fill all the information here. And there you go. I'm going to confirm this pre-authorization to store the payment method of my customer. So the payment has been successful here. I can just remove that. And let me show you right now. This customer is directly connected to Aiden. This means that anytime I create a new invoice, for example, I'm going to create that setup fee, $500 with tax. I'm going to create this invoice here. And as you can see here, my invoice is directly succeeded. The payment stages of this invoice is succeeded. The reason why is that agent directly process the payment for this invoice. You don't need to do that manually. Lago does it, does it automatically. Okay. And if you go back into your agent accounts, you can see under payments that you have these new transactions stored here. So you have the authorization for Gendo, but you also have here this invoice, the Lago invoice that has been paid through this uh, call, through this payment method that has been stored. Okay. So that, that's the first thing, how to create a payment through agent from an invoice created by Lego. And then you have the last option is, for example, I have this invoice here and I'm going to create a credit note. And this credit note uh, will be used to refund half of the invoice to this customer. And I'm going to refund that. And whenever I use this refund, that's directly sending a message to my agent account to refund the amounts of the credit note to this customer. So the refund is performed automatically from Lego to, from Lego to agent, and you don't have to do this manually. And that's also a great way to automatically use like credit notes from Lego and send that into your agent application. So basically it takes a bit of time to show up, but like to show up, but in this like payments, uh, in this payment a transaction item here, uh, that will be sent directly for refund in a few seconds and Lego automatically refund that. So that's the complete agent integration. And as you can see, that's pretty useful if you want to connect directly your Lego accounts, invoice uh, your customers, and then pay directly the bills that you, you issued with Lego.